building the entrepreneurial culture. And create more of a collective culture. Promoting an entrepreneurial culture. We want to create a culture of entrepreneurships, of successful startups making it part of our DNA. Entrepreneurship is really crosses all boundaries and all cultures. But we do have a bit of a, an anti-business attitude, I think. It's part of our culture, a bit risk-averse. There's, there's a lot of negative perceptions. They feel they have to apologize for making money. They feel they have to apologize for, for success. Change in that mindset. So whether it be in Windsor, whether it be in Winnipeg, Calgary, anything like that, culture of support, of pride in these places, they will naturally thrive. So it's um, getting the word out and getting the word out in a, in a positive sort of, uh, you know, in a proud way. Let's hear what their stories are and celebrate their successes, but learn from some of their um, their challenges. So it's that whole idea of being, feeling okay to fail, understanding that it's okay to fail and learn from those mistakes. Because from failure comes the lessons learned, becomes good investments and you can take that and grow. We need to get better at promoting ourselves. Uh, Canadians are, are known to be very humble and reserved. Uh, providing that exposure on a na national level um, in terms of PR and, and really celebrating the successes of these, uh, these great startups that are Canadian and, and building their company here. Giving businesses from across different cities exposure on a national scale. Getting the names out there to get supported by the media. So people will come and shop there and support them in what they're doing. Start telling their stories. And the ones that have been there and had success need to do the same. Go speak at the universities, go speak to the local startup groups. Um, and even if you're in an industry that's not technical and you wanna share those stories, entrepreneurship's entrepreneurship, right? I mean, the feelings and the craziness are all the same no matter what industry. So so encouraging entrepreneurship is one thing that is kind of lacking. Uh, like I said before, we didn't really think of entrepreneurship as a viable career for any of the founders of our company. We need to do more to encourage people to become an entrepreneur. Everyone believes that being a doctor or a nurse or a lawyer is really a, a good choice for a career, and yes it is, but I think we need to bring entrepreneurship up to the level of every other choice as far as a career goes. Put entrepreneurs on the exact same level and recognize their importance for what they bring to society. And you really don't know what you can do until you see other people being passionate, caring, and actually doing things. You know, I'm just a normal person from the GTA who now runs my own organization. And, and people seeing that, that it's possible, I think helps to inspire them and can help them reach for that in their own lives. But really, entrepreneurship is a mindset. And if you can be more entrepreneurial in how you approach life, you will be successful. It's a way of behaving and acting. And if your passion is to, to take on a really important social problem or cause and solve that one, uh, then entrepreneurial behavior is just as important there as it is in, in starting a business.